but the best, my favourite one was always feeding Bill and Ben the big, um, big pigs. Yeah. While we were there, actually, the two people who rescued them from the abattoir, they turned up. Oh, wow. They got into this abattoir and managed to rescue these two pigs. And apparently, Bill and Ben, you couldn't go near them before they were castrated mm. because obviously they're male pigs, but they were just like, they're just so adorable. And the way they come up to you, just knowing they're gonna feed, and you, you'll see on the videos, feeding them, you're just like pouring food into their mouths and they're like. Rawr, 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 well, it's rawr, not just rawr. that, you, you shot um, the mother pig protecting um, the babies yeah because the, the goats, goats yeah the goats were trying to they're get in, in on separate, the food they're in a separate pen so you've got some female pigs and some goats in there and lolly the goat so it's um pig feeding time these pigs are out the back as you can see this one's sadie you can see that there. that's sadie she has to eat by herself because they keep nicking her food this is the big mama pig with the three little piglets. Oi, 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 are you safe? Um, Lolly will just stick her head into the feeding bucket and you can feed her from your hand. She's so adorable. She's such a pain in the ass. But yeah, while we were there on the Sunday evening, um, two piglets were born. And one was a little pink spotted, pink with spots, and the other one was a little black one. Um, unfortunately, I never got to see the pink with the black spots. We went down to do the feed, I think it was Sunday, Monday evening after we got back from Mercia. And Crystal and I couldn't see the um, pink pig anywhere, pink piglet anywhere. And we think that perhaps, I mean, it, it seemed, people were saying it seemed that it was a bit unwell or mm. a bit of a runt. And it didn't seem to be responding to feed or anything mm. from the mother. It wasn't looking for the teats. And it does seem that the mother may have eaten it or mm. maybe the other pigs had eaten it, which, you know, which is what they do, unfortunately. It happens, doesn't but it? But the little black piglet, seriously, I mean, it was, what, two days old? And it was running around and then, I went, you know, you go and feed the mother separate. She's still in the pen with the goats and the other pigs, but you feed her separately. And when the goats, the goats are cheeky little sods, go along <laughs> and she's just like, to get away. But the little piglet's still running around going, Aah. I've yeah. got these tiny spindly little legs, but I'm still gonna run around and it's tiny. It's, so, it's about that big. Like most animals, they would persevere, especially if there's food around, they would oh, goats, get in there, goats wouldn't they? Yeah. Oh, one of the best bits. I mean, seriously, this is how much I enjoyed doing hard manual labor. We had so much fun. I was so lucky that the four girls, just wanna say something, squid ring. I'm not going to explain what that is. Okay. <laughs> it's a private joke, but other people were really squidring. Um, <laughs> they asked us to mock out the donkeys and ponies. So in we go. And I, I have a massive fear of the fences because they're electrocu electrocu electrified. I did get one electric shock actually, and it's not that bad. I mean, it's just to make, make them that move That explains away. why you're like, you are, you got back. <laughs> <laughs> we were shoveling the shit and <laughs> And Prospero, the miniature horse, just kept going up to the wheelbarrow and just kind of nudging it a little bit. And we were just were like, don't you freaking do. And he was just like walking home, we'd be putting the poo in there and he'd, he'd keep nudging the wheelbarrow and just like, don't you do. And then just as we filled it up, ready to take it and put it on the pile with where the manure goes, knocked the whole freaking thing over. And Love it was it. like, you, <laughs> you know, you're shuffling shit in the, hot sun and it's like I didn't care what was amazing was when I was picked up at the airport by Abby and it was me and Selena the first who was the other volunteer who came in at the same airport as me and um, suddenly just being in the jeep with Abby or in the truck with Abby and just just talking about it and mm. just talking about being a vegan and suddenly realizing that you're not isolated in this world you're not um, we're not that weird we're not that unusual mm. and then being around people who love animals so much I mean literally these people put animals before anyone you know the animals come before anyone who goes and volunteers there and that's the way it should be we come last 
and that's the way it should be and that's what I appreciated more than anything was how much they love those animals oh there was one amazing moment so Woody and Merlin got out they were really naughty who are Woody and Merlin they're two horses right so they kept getting out of their pen and you'd be and they got out and not only did they get out they started eating the feed from the back of the truck that was <laughs> in the truck so trying to get them back into the pen when they're just like <laughs> we're out we're having fun we're eating all the food so then Julian came up to us and it's like quick over it over it and we had to be very quiet Woody was spark out <laughs> in the field <laughs> lying there just like <laughs> in the field so julian lifted up his head and stuck his head on our laps and we had photos oh i saw that picture lap. yeah and it's just like it was so funny because woody was just like mate i'm just here i'm just lying mm. down don't give a shit. loving life <laughs> and then it got to a point where it was just like he is, uh, Julian was going, I'm just going to see that it's okay. I'm going to get him up and trying to get this horse to stand up and show that he was all right. So Woody gets up and then it's just like, oh, I'm, okay. I'm going back to sleep now. Brilliant. <laughs> he was just like so naughty. Real characters. Oh, just the character, Steve the donkey. When we were clearing the ship, Steve the donkey, we'd done this big pile of manure. Really worked hard. You know, this is in the hot, nearly midday sun. Big pile of manure, ready to put in the wheelbarrow. Steve the donkey walks over to it, stands there and just pisses all over it. <laughs> and just like, almost like you could see on his face and then you just went, Ugh. Yeah. And it, I mean, obviously I'm anamorphosizing these animals. They're not actually laughing, but mate, I reckon they he was laughing. Been. Yeah. Julian was meant to cook for us one day, he didn't. So he's not getting a shout out for the food. Abby, Rachel, Summer, did you cook? I can't remember if you <coughs> cooked. Pretty sure you did cook actually. Sorry if you did. I may get that wrong. I worked really hard, but I put on three pounds out there because the food is so good. Lasagna, burgers, um, all handmade, nothing processed. Um, mac and cheese, tagine. I'm feeling really hungry oh, now. Paella. Just every bit of food we had there was outstanding better than anything we, so we went out to Mercia on the Monday and managed to get some vegan food because Mercia was virtually closed, all the vegan restaurants were closed out there. And we managed to get some food. It didn't even touch how good the food is at Jacob's Ridge. It really didn't, the food is outstanding. It's restaurant quality food that they, they put so much effort and so much love into everything they do. Well, the good thing is, you talking about it is, I mean, it doesn't really touch the surface because you've got no. so many videos that you've taken over there. You might see a little bit of me crying when I was doing my oh, last emotion. little bit. Totes as I emotion, was, Polly. I yeah. did get totes emotion. I think I would have been the same though if I'd gone. I really want to go too. Um, it's, it's, it's not about next year, maybe the year after, but I really, I'm not making excuses, but I really, I really want to go. It is an MOT for the soul. Yeah, you'll uh, be rewarded by the sounds totally. of it. Totally, and it's just, the animals, even the animals that don't, you can't go near because they're, you know, they're, they're still, some of them don't trust humans or, you know, they like humans. Some people are extroverted, some people mm. are introverted. Yeah. Animals are extroverted or introverted. So some of the pigs, you don't really go near. Um, not that you can't really, but you just, they just won't come to you. There are other pigs like Wilbur and Iggy who for some reason like to lick the legs and <laughs> like to and lick the them. arms. Oh, so Iggy's having a little chew on my leg at the moment. He's not really that bothered about the food. I don't know why he's having a munch on my leg. Is that Will? This is my wheelbarrow. Right, so Iggy's still chewing on my leg. Come on, Iggy, go on, eat. Eat something. Like I'm the boss, so I'm getting food. Hello. Hello, what do you want? What do you want? Hello. Oh, you're going to have a chew on my legs as well, are you? Yep. I haven't even got anything on my legs. Oh, Wilbur, have you moved on? Are we no longer friends? He knows you're leaving tomorrow morning. Oh. He knows I'm coming back tomorrow morning to feed them. Oh. Iggy. Iggy. So Iggy's now deciding to eat my train. Iggy, there's food for you, not my trainer. Okay, I think I'm gonna help. Right, will you stop eating my foot? <laughs> Eat your corn. Eat your corn. And you, Wilbur. 
Eat your corn. Oh, I was like, I love people. Eat your corn. And you. I love you, bro. Enough. Oh, it's like a little nibble. It's just like a weird little nibble. It's like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. And hairy and rough hair. Oh, but... Uh, Exfoliating. Oh, seriously, the best thing. My leg is still smooth where Wilbur was rubbing himself up against me. I'm getting a good point. Oh, my God, that's a real hard nuzzle, that is, Wilbur. Oh. <laughs> Ow. What are you doing? I think that was goodbye and pig. So he was hand reared and used to sit on the sofa with Julian when he was little and was hand reared by Julian and his mm. daughter. Yeah. So he's so used to being around humans and he's just got the sweetest personality. And I love Iggy with his little sticky uppy hair. And mm -hmm. I mean, I can't remember the names of all the animals, but just what they do is outstanding. And it's it costs a fortune to run something like that. And every penny goes into it. And every ounce of love and passion and devotion to these animals goes into that place. You can literally see it. And I think that's what's so special about it is that there's no ego. Yeah, it's genuine. There's isn't literally it? no ego about any of it. It's simply, we love these animals. We're going to do everything we can. Like the amount of stories that started with these animals. Wow, so and so turned up with this dog, and Julian said we can't have another dog or we can't have another cat, and here it is. When you're that kind of person, and you, it's it's hard to turn animals away. They've got seventeen cats. That's amazing. Every single cat is friendly. My cats are notoriously not friendly. <laughs> <laughs> but they're yours and you love them. Yeah, but the, when I got home, the cats just walked up to me and they were just like, Where have you been? <laughs> I can smell other animals on you, especially other cats, you traitor. But the best thing was you're not allowed cats in the um The cats shouldn't come into your tents. And the first night I remember... um it was that Steph said it was Night of the Living Dead because the cats were like pouring at the sides Brilliant. of the tents trying to get in. So one time I got back to my tent, Timmy was run, running around and you see Timmy, he's got like blue eyes and he's cross-eyed and he's like hey, <laughs> looking at you and he's so adorable. Managed to get him out. Are you leading the way, Boo? Yeah? Nope. Just stay there. and be cute for the camera. <laughs> He's such a cutie. <laughs> so cute. And this is the other interloper. <laughs> and then the worst one was Martin. I got into my tent and Martin's just there going, Hey, Showing off. I'm in your tent. I'm in your tent. If a cat You're can not high five, do he any. was high five. He was right literally there. loving life, that cat. I went peak season, so I went in August, and I think with your food, your board, your drinks, everything, and my flights, I think it cost me seven hundred pounds. And the majority of that money that you pay, other than my flight money, will go to the sanctuary. Yeah, there's food in, and you've got amazing food three meals a day absolutely amazing if you can't do that or don't want to do that do the lottery or you can sponsor one of the animals if you go onto their website jacobsridge.com you can actually sponsor one of the animals which i'm going to try and get my tutor group to do because i've got a new year seven tutor group That's such a great so idea. we're going to pick one of the animals i'm going yeah. to show them the videos and we're going to pick an animal to sponsor and we're going to, I'm going to get my tutor group really on board with this because I think, you know, young people need to be aware of animal welfare. So um, you're playing a part in their success and you're playing a part in helping the animals. Yeah, and that's, well the I, want whole, to, I want to see Jacob's Ridge grow and grow and grow. It will, it sounds like it's, 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 it's a very successful place. It's beautiful and I... 
She's getting emotional again. <laughs> yeah, <takes laughs> That's emotion. <laughs> so all the details down below, um, all the links yeah. that will take you there to their websites, their social I media, you, and Julian, if you're watching, and all the guys at yeah, Jacob's Ridge. Thank you so much. Proudest punch. <laughs> I love Best it. holiday ever. If you call it a holiday, well, it was a holiday. It was. It was. I mean, seriously. I mean, I holiday. posted some photos of me starfishing yeah. in the pool yeah. and in the hammock. You do, you do relax. Believe me, you do relax. And we went rafting. Um, and we went, some people went rock jumping, I wouldn't rock jump, but swimming in a lake, we went out to Mercia for the day, so you can do other things. I don't think you're going to hear the end of this, we're going to just keep no. on talking Literally, about it, because there's so much to say. You'll just hear Jacob's Ridge keep, <laughs> when I was at Jacob's Ridge, when <laughs> I was, years ago. when I was hanging out with the pigs, yeah, no, it, it was marvellous, marvellous, so I've never used that up, word Jacob's before. Ridge. Don't forget to like us as well, like this video and share us, and we'll see you on the next video.